Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit worried because um, there's a thunderstorm going on and I'm scared that I'm going to have a power cut. But yeah, hope you're all well. I've saved it so if the worst thing happens I can just reload this save point and then start again. So I got my coffee from the shop and yeah, ready to rock and roll. And I had a quick look through the statistics. So, um, so the two employees that we have, the two other drivers, they're earning about 1,400 quid between them a day, uh, which isn't bad at all, is it? So Elsie has levelled up, and Alice hasn't yet. But that's really good. So that means that, so our loan is about 500 and oh no, I was, I was meant to go down there. Um, so yeah, Alice is almost paying the loan by herself. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn around somewhere. Off to a great start. Looks like it might be a yeah, possible place to turn around. There's no one behind this. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I wouldn't do this in real life, but I'm going to reverse round. I think there is a car behind us now, yeah. Right, it looks like he's waiting for us then, doesn't it? Oh no. I don't know whether where we've kind of gone through a barrier I don't know whether traction's quite right down there don't bib at me mate I've got my hazard lights on you can do what you want when you've got your hazard lights on but that isn't going to be very helpful is it mate who do you think you are? Dagger win. Oh no. <laughs> right, well. Front of your truck might get ruined, mate. If I just don't look, it didn't happen. Oh, it actually didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't look like a road that we could go down. It it looked like someone's driveway. That happened to me with... Um, so when I worked for Asda. Actually, no, tell a lie. It was when I worked for Ocado. Um So when I worked for them, their GPS thing that did everything was called a GoTiv. And um, it was basically like a handheld terminal that did everything. So it was a scanner for um, when you were actually doing the delivery. It was a um, GPS for getting to the delivery. And um, it was a pain in the arse as well. And uh, yeah, the connections on it were terrible. It's ready to turn left. But um, yeah, the actual sat nav system was atrocious and the amount of times it sent me up someone's driveway turn left. then turn left turn left 
Are we going rallying? But luckily they were only a little three and a half ton. Well, I'm really nervous about this. Yeah, there are only little three and a half ton Mercedes Sprinters. Um, right, so I grounded it. I'm going to put diff lock on. And then I'm going to do a really bad hill start. Yeah, grounded on this. Add diff lock off. I'll um I'll put this on the map in a minute so that just in case any of you wanna see where I'm at. This feels awful through the steering wheel. <laughs> I did see the 10 ton sign. Why am I coming up here? There's no way I would have carried on by the way, so in real life there's absolutely no way I would have carried on, so when I got to that sign I would have, yeah. <clears throat> Sim whether there was any alternative route because this is ridiculous. And this might actually be the end of Jolly Roger. Oh no, what was that? I don't know whether that's an invisible barrier. I don't think we're stuck on anything. Let's have a look. Yeah, we aren't stuck on anything. Oh dear, oh dear. We might be in mega trouble now. So sorry, Jolly Roger. <laughs> Is this where it all ends? So none of these episodes are planned. I'm literally just just driving. That's why the thumbnail will be exactly the same for this as all the others. There won't be clickbait. I 
I really hope that I don't have to come back this way. Don't ground. Okay. Here we are, safe and sound. John, what are you on about, mate? What do you mean, here we are? I think I've really chosen the wrong job. Please be in there. Genuinely, I've no idea. I've never been here before. We're late as well. I'm not taking a job from there. I don't want to be loaded going out. Well, I'm genuinely nervous about this now. Uh, and we're backing out. We got in, we should be able to get out. Oh, at least the sun's coming up, so we've got some light getting out. If I'm honest, I just want this over and done with. Uh, what was I going to do? Yeah, I'll show you it on the map just in case any of you are mad enough. So, near Hammerfest. And it's called... Uh, Polar fish. There's no other way out. So yeah, if, if this job comes up to polar fish, say no. Choose another one. Right. Yeah, this isn't going to be very entertaining going back. I'm just going to take it slow. Thank you. 
Johnny Roger. Yeah, certain YouTubers, they'd love this because it'd be their, um, their picture and they'd, they'd park right near the edge next to a rock and they'd put the most dangerous road on ETS2 almost died I almost had a heart attack Yeah, there's a lot of clickbait on YouTube, and I really don't like it. It's so dishonest. Civilization. Oh, and that was the car park. Right, so remember, don't go hammer fest. I'm going to try and find a job. Right, back in a second. Okay, hello again. We're just taking that one. Boric acid, and we're getting as far away from this place as we possibly can. Drive safe. Turn right. Oh, and the camera's messed itself up again. Okay. Right. Was that a My Little Pony? I think so. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? I just, when I saw that, I just imagined rolling Jolly Roger off the edge. And then what do I do? Is that the end of the series or what?
basically. these reflections. John. Horse box. Looks a bit small, doesn't it? Looks for a little pony. My little pony. Lupo. Get ready to turn left. this oh if I really buggered it up is this going to be impossible I've got a horrible feeling this can turn really narrow and we're going to end up crashing. I'm not sure what's going on with these reflections either. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. It's all over now. Right, what was it? Boric acid? Yeah. What else have they got? Uh... No. <laughs> drive around the back. Not worth it, is it?
work, is it? I don't think I'll be able to swing round enough round there. Why am I all on edge? I'm just going to do exactly the same again, aren't I? I can I see, Captain. Right, at this point, I'll get out and have a look. Okay. Bugger. In a recent episode, I said I didn't want to cheat, but I'm regretting saying that now. Austin Powers. So, uh, yeah, what we'll do, we'll head down to... <laughs> oh, I ain't joking. We'll get it in there somehow. See, I could just press the enter button. And I'd say, sorry, sorry viewers, I had a... And a technical problem. You gotta love the sound of Jolly Roger as well. Especially when I lean out the window. Someone over there. Right. What time are we at? 29 minutes. Okay. Time to hit the road. I want to uh, at least make a dent on this so drive for a bit. Turn left. Go straight on. Get ready to turn right. Let's have a break. Have a break. Have a. Bibbin doesn't help, mate. Jeez. 
Jesus, you'd want to trust your handbrake there, wouldn't you? I don't know what car that is. R32. What's up, mate? What are you doing? Cool. Oh, you got less air than me. I didn't realise Matt Lucas drove a lorry. You alright, mate? One right like one. Anyway, right, let's try third and let's get the head out of it. Cheers, mate. Oh. Don't know what that was. And right, and then never come back. Oh, we don't need to signal. It was his fault. Because he was signalling, I was signalling. Making us look like idiots. Yeah, nice looking place, but yeah, don't come here in a lorry. time we at 34 I'm not having my break in that little bit before anyone thinks it. That little bit to the right of that awful road that we went up. I'm never going through them gates again. So it's, yeah, that is a place, isn't it? So polar fish. Don't do it. And it was actually right opposite the uh, petrol station. Well, so I suppose what I could do is have our break. No, we'll go on a little bit further because, yeah, I don't want to be anywhere near it.
I don't know why I'm rallying it. Get ready to turn right. Is this a bit where it becomes proper civilization? Careful, mate. Little houseboat, two houseboats. Especially bay liners. see parking coming up. It's a shame one of the reasons, if I'm honest, one of the reasons why I wanted to keep driving is because we're on 49 subscribers and I thought maybe, just maybe, we might get to 50 whilst filming. Yeah, people will lose interest, so I don't want to make these too boring. I know some people would watch for, yeah, the whole episode, but I don't want people getting sick of it. But this is actually a lovely place, isn't it? So a lovely place to take a break and to get a screenshot. Oh, please tick over to 50. That would be so excellent. In this scenery. After, yeah, quite a challenge in delivery. Recomputing. Do what you like, mate. Stop here for the night. Uh. Yeah, that's cool. Right, well, I don't think it's going to tick over. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me through my horrendous journey. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And yes, I hope to see you in the next one. So have a fantastic night. All the best. See you soon.